next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Hey guys, my name's Connor from the UK Game Bureau, and welcome to our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation and prediction of Habib Nurmagomedov vs Conor McGregor. This is arguably the biggest fight in UFC history, and for good reason too. Habib is coming into this fight at 26 and 0. Obviously, he's never lost a fight, never even lost a round in the UFC. Conor McGregor is coming into this fight 21 and 3, and of course, is one of the biggest superstars, not only just in the MMA world, but in the world altogether. So, first of all, let's take a look at the champion Habib Nurmagomedov. He has notable wins over former champion Rafael Dos Anjos, Michael Johnson, Edson Barboza, and of course he won the title against Al Iaquinta. Part of what makes this fight so interesting is how different the two guys fight. So Habib is a complete grappler, whereas Conor McGregor is more of a striker. Habib grew up wrestling and competing in combat sambo, there's videos of him out there wrestling bears. I would make the argument that he's the best grappler we've ever seen ever at 155 pounds and below. Habib Magomedov, when he fought Abel Trujillo, actually set a record for most takedowns in a fight, which was 21. Which shows that he took his opponent down, on average, about once every 40 seconds, which is just ridiculous. He does have a few knockouts in the UFC as well, although a lot of them tend to come from ground and pound as opposed to on the feet, although he does have a standing knockout as well. Although that really is not his forte, his forte is more taking people down, ground and pounding them, and trying to submit them if they give the opportunity. Part of what makes Habib so good on the ground is that he always favours position over things such as submission or strikes. You see with a lot of fighters, they take someone down, they immediately try and go for a finish, or they just hold on and try and stall. Habib will make sure he gets his position, then start throwing strikes. If you try and get out, he'll stop, he'll get his position back, and then start throwing strikes again. It's very, very hard to get up once he's already taken you down. It's also very interesting how he gets his takedowns. He's not someone such as Chad Mendes, who we'll mention later as well who just shoots blast doubles and goes for him like that. He mixes a lot of sambo, he mixes a lot of wrestling, he mixes a lot of judo. He's proficient in all three styles and he mixes them all together and chain wrestles, which is very dangerous for anyone. When you look at Habib's takedown stats, they're not the greatest, which may surprise you. That's because, as I just mentioned, he chain wrestles. What that means is he'll go for one takedown, let's say a single leg, he'll get you up against the cage and he won't complete that takedown. He'll then switch it to a double leg, Try and get that, you defend it, he doesn't get that. He then uses some sort of judo throw and gets you down like that. So the official stat will say that he's one for three on his takedowns. However, in that one sequence where he tries to take you down, he took you down in that sequence. So the stats can be misleading when it comes to Habib's takedown. For me in this fight, it's not going to be can Conor McGregor stop Habib's takedowns. So I truly don't believe anyone can consistently stop them. The question will be, can he do enough before he gets taken down? When Habib takes Conor down, we know exactly what he's going to do. As I mentioned, he's going to maintain his position. He's going to slam him with elbows, fists, hammer fists, anything he can. And I'm sure if Connor gave him a chance for a submission, he would take it. Make no mistake, if Connor ends up on his back consistently in this fight, it's not going to be good for him. Connor needs to keep it standing. So on to Connor McGregor. Of course, a lot of us know what his record is, but he has notable wins over Eddie Alvarez, Jose Aldo, Dustin Poirier, Nate Diaz, and Max Holloway. Of course, his most famous result being that 13 second knockout against Jose Aldo. Connor's story is somewhat of an interesting one. He won the lightweight title against Eddie Alvarez back in November of 2016, becoming the first ever person to hold two championships at two different weights at the same time. He then went on to compete not in MMA, but he went to box Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather ended up winning that fight very convincingly, but you know that Conor McGregor spent a lot of time working on his boxing on that fight, and I'm sure that's going to show in this fight. Conor McGregor, you could argue, is one of, if not the greatest counterfighters we've ever seen in MMA. He puts a lot of pressure in that he walks forward a lot, but if you watch a lot of his style, he sort of baits his opponent to throw something, and then he uses his timing and his speed to clip them first. Conor McGregor does actually have very good takedown defense. If you look at the Chad Mendes fight, Chad did take him down a few times, but I believe it was around half and half for how many he defended versus how many times he got taken down. You've got to consider that being on short notice as well. Conor McGregor's takedown defense is definitely not as bad as people make it out to be. However, when you look at that Chad Mendes fight, what would worry me is the lack of action that Conor McGregor showed off of his back. Especially if you look in that second round, he was just slapping Chad's ears, he was looking for ref to stand up, he threw a few elbows which didn't really do much. He, he looked a bit lost off of his back. And of course, that fight was three years ago. I'm sure he's trained a lot differently. I'm sure he's a lot better now. But you have to think what will happen if and when Habib takes him down. As I mentioned, I believe the key for Connor is to just do as much work in the stand-up as you can before you get taken down. 
Something we haven't really seen from McGregor before, but I expect to see this fight, is a lot of knees. If he keeps throwing up a knee or just fainting a knee, then it will make him be hesitant to shoot in as well because he won't want to get caught by it. It is a very risky technique because if you throw a knee at someone shooting on you and you miss, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to get taken down. But if you land that knee, it could be a completely different fight. While this fight is standing up, it's really no competition for me. Conor McGregor is leaps and bounds better than Habib is on the feet. Of course, what I haven't mentioned yet is all the antics lean into this fight, the press conferences, the whole bus and the dolly situation. That's because I truly don't think it will make a difference on the fight. When you look at how different these two fighters are, you have Habib, the best grappler we've ever seen at 155, Conor McGregor, the best striker we've ever seen at 155. I really don't think all those antics before, all the emotions going into this fight, I don't think it's going to change their game plans or their psyches enough that it will change how the two of them fight. So prediction time on which way I think this is going to go. As I just mentioned, I do believe it could go either way. In a way, it is sort of a pick and fight because we really don't know. And with Connor, it seems like all odds just seem to go out of the window. But with that being said, when it comes to my prediction, I'm going to go over Habib Nurmagomedov's submission in the fourth round. As good as Connor is, as hard as he hits, as accurate as he is, I just don't think he's going to be able to stop that takedown. And I think if this fight goes past two rounds and Habib's had his way, he is going to be in big, big trouble. Of course, Conor McGregor can catch him. He can catch him coming in. But I feel like for Conor McGregor, he has to fight the absolute perfect fight to not get taken down. Whereas Habib, if he can take a shot or two, he doesn't have to be as perfect with his fight. He just needs to get it down any way possible. Whereas Conor McGregor is one on the defensive, having to make sure he doesn't get taken down. So again, for that reason, that reason alone, I'm going to go over Habib Nurmagomedov, fourth round submission. Let me know what you think of my prediction in the comments down below. And of course, let me know your predictions as well. I'll be reading all of them and I'll see you in the next video.